Yeah, like, I mean, that was here's fucking. What, here's you guys. Brutal. We need you to come back. Yeah, we need you to yeah, come back. Yeah. We appreciate. We, we got these you guys parts were great. for you. Yeah, dead. <laughs> <laughs> they just fucking killed him in like, like the first even, ten minutes of the movie. It's why like, even have him in the movie? Right. Just, Oh, because they had a f- of characters with a face they could kill. Now people can't complain yeah, yeah, that yeah, nobody I mean, kills Marvel characters anymore. It was one of those things where they just needed somebody to kill. They needed a scapegoat to say, hey, look, we killed people. It's fine. Don't worry. It's like, no. And the uh, Mongolian dude, like, he got a legit fight for a minute there. But the fat dude who drinks and the yeah. ra- the dude with the rapier, they just got fucking stabbed a bunch of times. Knives. Yeah, hella, fucking... hella just fucking wrecked that guy. Turned Knife him into bitch. Swiss cheese. Oh man, she was a good oh, villain though. God damn it, it still pisses me off. She was a good villain. Yeah, I gotta say, like, you know, I I never knew about her as a villain in or period even. I I, I don't even know. I'm still in the. Uh, I I don't know if it's. I, I guess maybe it's just Norse mythology that she's Loki's daughter. I don't know. I don't know. It yeah. wasn't. It, she they, <laughs> she won their fucking sister. That's for sure. <laughs> I mean, no, Not in the con- no, 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 or maybe. Maybe I I don't care. All I know is she was a really good villain. Yeah, I I really I really enjoyed her. About time for a Marvel villain. But today that's not what you know. That's not what this show is about. We don't we don't care about uh, Marvel today. Fuck you, Marvel. Yeah, <laughs> Ron said it. Kevin Feige. Fuck you for being good. Er. Fuck you and your <laughs> fucking perf- your perfect movie slates, Kevin Feige. Yeah. How dare you make better movies than Warner Brothers and how DJ? Dare, dare you know how to make better choices? Snatch than up Warner all Brothers. the black actors for Black Panther so that fucking WB has nobody to cast as John Stewart. Oh, did they just get that guy from? Uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Are they gonna get Charlie? Oh, Charlie Murphy? No, no, he's dead. <laughs> he died. No, I'm sad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that that's really sad. Like I I was doing okay and then you reminded me of that, man. Damn. Charlie Murphy. Uh, Charlie Aww. Murphy is John Stewart. Uh, I I, can I do don't it. care. Walk outside Rip. and cast somebody off the street before you cast Tyrese though. I I, I want common if they're gonna go Seriously? anywhere. Yeah. But they use common as like a, a throwaway character in yeah. Suicide Squad. To try and make the Joker the thing. Just the kill Joker's him. Not, that Joker's he's not in the thing. he's no. in Suicide Squad for about two minutes. Yeah, yeah, that, I mean, that stupid be, club scene. That club scene was so if cringy. You're common, how do you go from being cast in John Wick. as John Stewart? No, he was cast as John Stewart in the uh, the uh, the failed Justice League movie that was they WB was trying to make about ten years ago. Oh, or something right, like that. yeah, I remember that. Yeah, the uh, I can't, I can never think of the director's name, but he directs uh, the Mad Max movies. Oh, uh, uh, George uh, George Miller. George Miller. He yeah. was going to do a, a Justice fucking... League movie. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know George yeah. Miller how was do you tied go into from that? being cast as John Stewart? Like you're, that's how WB sees you. To they're like, we got a role for you. Um, and what was you're it? Dead um, in two minutes. It was a. Uh, they were actually probably like friends of the director. Well, they were, they were direct, they were going to make the movie. And uh, they were making it in Australia. I actually just watched a video on this not too long ago. They were making it in Australia, and something happened that caused the cost of the movie to go beyond what they were okay with. But um, oh. so they tried to move it to Canada or whatever, and something happened where it just didn't get off the ground. Just but during died. during the the, the uh, was it just that yeah. So during like the production of the movie or whatever the initial attempts, they were also making a tie-in video game. I watched that, yeah. yeah. I watched the so, same thing. It turned into the fucking Green Lantern. Turned into the, the Green Man Lantern movie. Yeah. So the Green Lantern movie tie in game. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh well, that's disappointing. I know it's bad, but don't every... don't fucking don't do it. It's <laughs> disappointing in every sense of the word. Uh I mean are we talking about the movie or the game? Both. Both. Oh, okay. I never we played the know, game. Don't the movie the just movie leave it alone. <laughs> I think the movie it hurts. isn't as bad Still. as people want to rag on it for. Yeah, it was serviceable, but like, it just, I feel like they like oh, okay. God. Hold um, on. Wh- Take out the Green Lantern part. It's a, it's an okay movie. <laughs> Take out the most important no, parts. No, no, like they just jumbled around this, uh, yeah, the source yeah. material. Like here like okay, the movie didn't perform as well and it didn't turn out quite how you wanted. What did Marvel do with the Incredible Hulk and and Edward Norton? Did they just oh that never happened? No, it fucking still happened. You move on and do yeah. better next time. That's exactly they what they did. They should have fucking kept it. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. I, I mean, there's I mean, that I, Ryan Reynolds problem. I don't know how you'd get around that. But right, right. I I I enjoyed Reynolds in that movie. 
Like I really did. Ryan he didn't Reynolds. enjoy that movie. <laughs> no, he That's did. He hates it, man. He wouldn't but... coming back for nothing. No, it was. I mean, it was. It was an overall bad. Just everything. Like they, like you said, they, they. It felt like they didn't know what they were doing. They were just stumbling around in the Green Lantern story. It was, it was still universe. back when they had no idea how to take a comic book and adapt it into a movie properly. Right. And. They just they fucking made terrible choices. Yeah, and, and you know what? The funny thing is that that's not stopped yet. It's been ten or twelve years, and sometimes, they're still yeah. they're still making those same stumbling mistakes, just not to the same I say degree. I'd say, like I mean, Wonder Woman was fantastic, but the others are middling at best. Yeah, like I I I mean I still don't like Man of Steel. I like it more it now. It grows on me every time it, I it watch took it. Me to watch the it score twice, is yeah. beautiful. It's I think I fucking love that. Didn't movie. they get Hans Zimmer to do the score? Yeah. yeah. I mean, of course, it's going to be the best part of the movie. And like, I, you know, the, a lot of the themes for superhero movies, like there are no themes back in like back in the day. You think of Batman and Tim Burton movies, that theme pops in your head, and then yeah. you think of yeah. the uh, Christopher Reeve Superman theme. Like there's those iconic themes. You know, you don't see that very much nowadays. But that fucking Hans Zimmer theme for Man of Steel, just I can instantly recall it. It's really good. Yeah, I I mean, I still have the same feelings about the movie. Is that they just, it just felt rushed? They were trying to cram too much into one movie. No, I didn't. I didn't really feel that. I honestly was kind of with the young Clark Kent stuff. Yeah, I just didn't want to see it. I didn't care. It's right. the kind of thing where, like, I'm glad they didn't do the Spider Spider Man's origin. Right. I'm. Um, I honestly, I was afraid it was going to be more Smallville. Than Superman, and I'm glad it didn't turn out that way. But um, the thing that I had to kind of overcome with that movie was just how down it was. It was very how much of a downer. I mean, yeah, and for, now for, I kind uh, of I accept I, I accept it more. But um, like I, I still completely dislike the way they took it, it, uh, Paul Kent. It I felt like it, it. it felt way too like uh, felt way too too uh, too dark. For a Superman movie, it's it too why. depressed. It's a different kind of Superman movie. Yeah, and he's not Superman yet in it, that movie. He's learning to be Superman, but on top of that, it's it's set in a more realistic world. Right. Totally. I I still I would like to see a lighter Superman, but I got it. Like it was set in that. It was set to be realistic. It was it was too close to the Christopher Nolan Batman movies to me. Right. Um. I'm glad still that they decided to just go with it for Justice League and go with it with the DCEU. That's a good... Because then we'd be yeah. waiting on a new fucking Superman movie to start off. Yeah. And that would have been another 10 years, and I, I don't know, likely we wouldn't have had... They, they basically it did been with even it, worse. what they should have done with Green Lantern and just kept going. Kept it, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm much more glad they didn't keep Green Lantern, though. I would like to get a Green Lantern. Well, but they jumbled movie, around a lot of the the the, the details and characters yeah. and and villains and and Green in the Green Lantern movie. But Ryan Reynolds was great as Hal Jordan. Yep. You got you know his, Parallax was fucking awful. His, you got the father stuff, the father <laughs> stuff that happened with his dad. Uh, Ryan Reynolds was great. And they end they book they ended the movie. With Sinestro turning into a, a yellow, he, he yeah right right like, which... like so the movie was what it was, but it hit where it needed to hit in order for you to be able to move on and and try again yeah. and do better next time. You had everything you needed to go into the next movie and have Sinestro be a villain. Yeah. Sinestro is my favorite fucking villain in all of DC Comics. I think he's... He was the best way, part of that He's movie. one of the best He's villains. the one yeah. thing they and got Mark right. And Mark Strong fucking killed it as mm. Sinestro. Like, I, I wish they would recast him as Sinestro. Like, I, don't, I can't see another... Like, there's a rumor, like, Luke Evans from Dracula Untold, and he played uh, in Beauty <coughs> and the Beast, yeah. and that he's going to play Sinestro, and I feel like he'd be yeah. good, but I don't think any actor will be on Mark Strong's level as Sinestro. But yeah, they, it had everything. They should have just they could I, Honestly, because Sinestro's fucking an orange dude, why don't they just bring him back? Like, if you're going to bring something out of that movie, you don't even have to acknowledge the movie. Still go with redoing Green Lantern. Oh yeah, but please. Bring, can we bring him back as fucking and, Sinestro? Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it would have been so interesting. Like, 
Hell, it's, like you, it's nowhere you, near as bad okay, as Ryan Dracula Re- Untold. If Ryan Reynolds didn't want to come back, is Green Lantern turning into a Green Lantern conversation? Yeah. <laughs> if Ryan fine. Reynolds didn't want to honestly, come back, is Green Lantern? Honestly, I mean, we expected that. So. I know. I mean, I'm, if we're talking about DC and you're here. Green Lantern tattoos, <laughs> Green Lantern shirt on right now. Like, uh, you, I'm not allowed to okay, talk about Batman because everybody got, hates Batman. You got Kyle no, no, Rayner. No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't hate Batman. I'm just sick of the oversaturation I can go to the Batman. store right now and probably find Batman toilet paper. It makes me sick. <laughs> uh, you want to wipe your ass with Bruce Wayne? You can do it. Like, okay, like, <laughs> okay. if Ryan Reynolds doesn't want to come back, you could have gone with Kyle Rayner. He would have been great. You got John Stewart. He would have been so great. There's so many Green Lanterns you to go with. You could fucking yeah. move on. Now, yeah. now this is... A new, yeah. a newer thing. You didn't have that at the time, but now you got Jessica Cruz. Mm-hmm. I, lo- I love Jessica Cruz. I'm not. I'm you trying so done, hard uh, to love Simon Baz, but the I just, redhead. Fuck. Oh, Guy Gardner. Yeah, you could have done Guy Gardner. So I he see. Could get his ass kicked. I'd people like to see hate that. Guy Gardner, but I have come <laughs> full circle on Guy Gardner. He is the baddest motherfucker in all of comic books. <laughs> Guy Gardner is the. Is he's, he he's a bad back dude. to being a yellow? Is he green? Is he hey, red? Dude, what is he now? Because he he's was green, green and then he he's red, and, and then he was cri- then he was Christmas Lantern. He was both, and <laughs> now he's fucking a green and whatever, man. I, I'm, I, it's, I'm, I'm not. A, I got know. some catching up to do. I got to go from like. 20 issue 25 of Hal Jordan to 32. So, I, I, I know, we'll see. I'm still I'm still a John Stewart. I want I want my John Stewart movie. Yeah. I mean John Stewart's my lantern. So I I give me give me John Stewart. That's what I want. But I know they won't. Give me Common as John Stewart and I'll be happy. Even if the movie's bad, I'll just be happy. It could yeah. be it can turn out okay. Yeah. I want it to be okay. No, I want it to be really good. Yeah. Like you know, I I I want it to be good. I want DC to do a good a good movie. I mean, they gave us Wonder Woman, which I'm so grateful for because it was so fantastic. But now I want breath of fresh air. I want you to keep going, keep that pattern. You know, I like I like that they're talking about when they do the individual movies. They want to make sure they're doing that movie first and foremost. Yeah, that you know it'll That's have its just tie-ins. About to get at. But yeah, like, like that was that that sunk. That was one of the one of the many things that sunk BVS. Yeah, was trying too hard to be multiple, like to start multiple threads and everything. Yeah, it's even Marvel's had problems with that in the past. Age of Ultron would have been much better if they weren't thinking eight movies ahead. Yeah. Um, I, I I think it's just it's really annoying when they do that. Make your fucking single movie. I, yeah, I think when you're going to make a mul- a series of movies interconnected movies like this, um, what you should focus on is obviously, like you said, the movie first and foremost, mm-hmm. and then focus on how you're going to connect it to the next movie in line. But don't worry about anything past that. Yeah. Don't don't think about how you're going to connect. You know, like 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 with with the way Marvel's doing things now. We just had Thor Ragnarok. And it connects to Infinity War, but it has nothing to do with Black Panther. But Black Panther is going to connect to Infinity War. Like, do it that way, where you're you're not you're not focusing on connecting all of the movies. You're focusing on and connecting one like, movie to the next. The proof is in the pudding, or whatever. Like, there was none of that in Wonder Woman. Right. And now we're about to watch Justice League, and we already know through the trailers, like. She's they didn't, front and center. It, the mascara is three mascara is whatever how it's fucking pronounced is in the trailers. You're there, right? Like you don't need to go all they crazy needed was with that trying picture, to set things that, up. That future, yeah, you or, don't. Like thank you, Bruce, or whatever. That didn't it say Wayne Industries on the box or something, and that was it. I Hell, I don't remember. Honestly, Man of Steel. That's once. one of the things Man of Steel did well. You just saw fucking Wayne Industries. Yeah, and, like, and there were like, like little Easter eggs little, on little things. Uh, yeah, just just little tiny stuff. hints. Tiny hints is all you need if you're going to worry about building the universe yeah. like that. That's fine. Fucking do it. Get them but, set, and then give me like a movie similar to the way Marvel's done so, uh, Civil War, where okay, we've got some movies now. Fuck it, let's make a. Uh, a Flash movie, but his big partner in crime will be Cyborg or something. Right. So you have a fucking buddy movie between Flash and Cyborg. Or if you ever do fucking Nightwing, maybe Cyborg shows up in that and you could give us like an inkling of Teen Titans coming down the road. That would be cool. Yeah. That'd be like, so fucking great. Like, stop stop trying. Yeah, yeah they, just, they need to focus less on building out their universe and focus more on just making good movies. And I wonder, I've been wondering how much of DC... The throwing out, oh, this is in production now with uh, maybe we're thinking about this actor or maybe we got this director. How much of these movies that they've announced are actual in-production things 
versus just just throwing shit out there to try and change narrative to try and get yeah to get press and things like that because that's the way it seemed for a while there yeah. yeah like the only ones that seem like they've gone anywhere now are Shazam Aquaman and um like I, that's about it like and Wonder Woman too now. Oh well, yeah, yeah, and uh, Batman. Like, yeah. like they have. We know who the director is. Right. Uh, Wonder Woman Two's got a release date. Yep. Like, we finally have a Shazam, and we know a. Dire- I, I can't remember who the director for that is, but I pretty, think they have a director too. So it's like, okay, get those movies. Don't stop talking about the other ones. I don't want to hear a fucking word about Suicide Squad Two. Don't talk about like a fucking the the. Uh, what is Gotham it? City Gotham Sirens? City well, Sirens. Aquaman's yeah. coming next. I feel like the movie that. Yeah. That the movie that should come right after Aquaman that would because they have some pro like you talked about the Batman movie and Wonder yeah. Woman too, they've got a few big uh, wrenches like in their way there like with one with uh, Gal Gadot wanting that uh, that guy. Um, it's hard. It's not it's Brett, hard. Ratner? Brett Ratner. Brett Ratner. Studio. She wants him um, off, or she's not going to reprise her role. Like, see, the thing about that, that is, though, a big the financing hold up. partner. The thing about that is, though, is that there's not actually been an official announcement by by Gal herself. If that's like, true, like she's not said anything. She's if, not made to any official channels. She's not actually said anything. That was just a rumor that somebody if that's true, that was though, an insider. That, that's a problem. Because right. they're a big, they're a big partner, and they they pay for a lot of the, well, no, a, well, lot of, well, a huge portion of the movie. Well, don't they're, forget though that Warner Brothers kind of, kind of, sort of said we don't really want to work with him anymore. Well, they removed him already. Yeah. Right, he's gone. He's but gone, but shit. his company is still like Ron said. They they f- yeah, help fund yeah. these movies. Right, I get which, that. But like I said, there's been no actual announcement. And then you got the Batman. You have this Ben Affleck Ben Affleck problem. Yeah. So. After Aquaman, you yeah. really, really, really after because I feel like the Flash is going to kill it in this movie. Yeah, and everybody's going to love Ezra Miller as the Flash, and he's going to be he's going to be the show stealer. Flashpoint, yeah. the very next movie after Aquaman, switch things up, set things straight. I right, mean, right. to do that, I, hope, it, I, no. I think that's not a bad idea. Put your to Aquaman do that though, and whatever you have to, they would have to take Flashpoint and like. N- like they would have to be fast tracking it now, and make that's it, not a good idea. Make it basically Justice League Two without calling it Justice yeah. League Two, kind of like uh, Winter Soldier was, mm-hmm. or uh, Civil War. Civil War was, was essentially basically Avengers, Avengers Three yeah. or whatever, or Avengers like Two and a Half or something yeah. like that. Yeah, because I mean, made up for Ultron, right? Oh God, yeah. Like that's what I'd like to happen. That's what I think they I should do. That. Like, I mean, I, I mean, forgetting all the all the problems that you need to solve. Like, I if. There were no problems. I'd be like, man, you should have made a Man of Steel movie like yesterday. A Man oh, of yeah, Steel two like Steel yesterday, too. and and that's still that's another one that they they claim that is in in the works. It's like, all right, I, I like I want to see that, and there's a lot of these I want to see. Yeah. Um, but I think I think you're right. Like getting Flashpoint, having that set down, and getting that because that one's going to be interesting. No matter where you go, yeah, yeah like Man yeah. of Steel two, you could like we were talking about Man of Steel one, how they they just little Easter eggs. They had so many in that movie mm-hmm. that they didn't even they they can just pick and choose like, at the Fortress of Solitude, one of the pods is open already. Yeah, like in Man of Steel two, they could just do Car L and have Supergirl and and shit like that. Actually, that's a good point. Because I was saying, uh, Brainiac could be the next big bad. I don't know. Yeah, I was just gonna say, what do you like? Is Superman two? Like I mentioned with earlier before we even got to recording, what do you want to see happen? Like with uh, how Ben Affleck gets out in uh, a Man of Steel two? I want Brainiac. If you're gonna do any, oh villain, yeah, he's give absolutely one hundred percent the the yeah. Superman villain that has to be in the next one. Like I, unless. I know Lex they want to do Lex. Is an undervillain. Yeah, but yeah, give me Brainiac because I I don't like the Lex so far. Honestly, I feel like they've ruined Lex with yeah. with uh, with the casting choice they, they made. They really have, but I still kind of want to be wait and see. Like right. put him in a suit, Maybe chill they him out, make him better, yeah. calm him down, put him on Xanax, <laughs> tone the fuck down, buddy. <laughs> put him on Xanax, you know. You're not too like, fa- you're not two face in the fucking Batman Forever. Have movie. him grow yeah. up a little bit. And you know, yeah. a little bit more, act more mature. Yeah, we might get a like that. Could be like the beginning is everything he thinks about 
is how he got fucked over by Superman. Yeah. That the, the bat didn't really – no. Everything like, he got um, fucked over, Henry. so now be that evil fuck that we want to yeah. see. Yeah. yeah Henry like, like, Cavill said he wants Supergirl in that movie. Yeah. Oh, yeah that's another thing. But I'd like to see Supergirl show up. Yeah, I'd like I, him to do straight up dark side with Supergirl. It'd be a nice, it'd be a nice dynamic. Like, oh, now let's go and fucking fight. Yeah, Brainiac. it's like like for for BVS. That's still part of the reason why I just haven't sat down and watched it yet. Because I mean, I've not seen the movie, but I've seen enough of the movie through clips and various reviews and stuff. That's like that Lex. That Lex really does ruin the whole thing for me. Because he doesn't live up to the image of Lex that I had growing up. Because when I had, you know, growing up, Lex Luthor was this conniving, yeah, intelligent, he's, badass motherfucker. He's Lex and Luthor by name. You've yeah, got, he's you've Lex got, Jr. You've got, yeah. and you got fucking Jesse Eisenberg just kind of being like a, a really, he, he, he's like Joker. He's just like the Joker in Jared Leto's Joker. He's just cringy and he's over the top, like, not, he's not, he, He's not even evil, really. He's just, he feels like an angsty teen. He feels like the dude who started MySpace. He has but serious dad as issues. A villain. Yeah. Yeah. He's basically social network, I but did with like mental He's a hipster. Though. He's a hipster. I <sighs> loved how he's just an evil, genius little shit. Whose character? Uh, fucking Jesse Eisenberg. Yeah. Lex Luthor. Like, I, I want to see him maybe mature and kind of make that turn to be. Actually, uh, like his his whole evil plots to be legitimate, like to be you know something that Batman can't solve in ten minutes, yeah, and can't be solved by fucking saying someone's goddamn mother's name. Oh god, that's in the past, man. Yeah. I'm just saying. I want <laughs> We're moving on in an hour and I a half, two to hours. See him move on. That is in the past. If they just say Steppenwolf's mom's name, it is. Okay, Luke. They should have fucking thrown in a Martha. They, they. I hope they throw in a Martha joke. <laughs> I hope Deadpool <laughs> two has a Martha joke. No, that would be fantastic. Oh my yeah. god, man! So flipping it because fuck you, I'm going to Marvel. Cable goes, even though it's the, Fox Marvel. Cable goes to fucking beat the shit out of Deadpool, and, and Deadpool's Martha. on the ground like Martha. <laughs> like and, and Cable's like, wait, what? Oh, what? Deadpool's like, fuck! I thought that would work. <laughs> Martha, wait, why are you saying it worked Martha? in that one movie? Choking him. <laughs> it worked for Superman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, yes. as far as what I like, what we want from future DC movies, I feel like the Batman is an afterthought. All things considered, at this point, like I, I, Man of Steel two, and uh, yeah, Flashpoint. Flashpoint I, I, first. I kind of like Flashpoint though. Like I, I um, that was one of the things that I just randomly watched one day, and I thoroughly enjoyed every second of that one. That one was that was one of my probably one of my favorite DC animated movies. My one problem is now that DC is like they're turning over the new leaf, and they're going to be lighter and not and everything. <laughs> lots of things I've heard is they totally do that and they pull it off in this movie. Um, Flashpoint is dark as fuck. It is dark as fuck. And yeah. if you do Flashpoint, well, I want it dark. I feel oh, like yeah. it'll. If I feel like realistically, I'm sure it'll, turn it'll, out. it'll be as close to Flashpoint in the comics as Civil War was yeah. to the comics. Like it's gonna be Flashpoint just, in that it's alcoholic, a course correction. I want right. alcoholic Batman. Like that, I really do. That's what you're accomplishing by calling super, it Flashpoint. Super you're not brutal trying Thomas to, like, Wayne. Have. Thomas Wayne. That's another thing I've said. I, I've said in the past I wanted them to use Flashpoint to kind of course correct. Um, and maybe that'll be what I I kind of feel after Justice League. I don't know. I will see today. Um, I don't want to see them rewrite everything. Even though there's been two very bad movies. It's a weird thing, man. Like, like you, Wonder you Woman was lose, good enough. You can't lose Gal Gadot. You, you don't, you're not no. changing that. No. You, you are awesome. changing Ben Affleck as Batman. So yeah. what the fuck? Is, is, so that's why, I want, that's why I wish they would get Batman out soon. Yeah. yeah. Get Maybe the just... Batman and make it fucking make the movie take place in the... If you even did... Uh, if you want to get rid of him, have the whole thing be fucking a flashback where he's talking to goddamn Nightwing yeah. or a Robin. Or, I mean, fanfic in it. Like, you don't yeah. need to just recast him. Like, you could just have Pass the him torch. be a younger Batman now. He's just younger. I and Seriously, he's, he's I you, you'd you still be younger. recasting him. Yeah. Seriously, just do well, a you're Pass the Torch movie. Him, but not, and not as, like, yeah. a, a same age range. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 no, yeah. No, no, yeah. You, That'd be a good, like. I would ex- like, like explanation for why get somebody he's so similar looking. looking. Yeah, get someone if, somewhat similar looking to Ben Affleck yeah. and move on. No, well, n- not that either. 
Because that's still I recap like get us a new Batman. They're not doing that. I hear they're I hear like Jake Gyllenhaal is well is, they're uh, in the running for it. Okay, no, I, that's I'm... not even a rumor I've heard spread anywhere. Yet. Well, he oh. he had a meeting about it. But... He might want it, but no, seriously, fucking put Nightwing in the Batman movie. Have they him want a Nightwing fucking, movie too. Yeah, have Batman fucking realize I'm actually really fucking old. <laughs> I need to stop doing this shit and pass the fucking torch. Do Terry McGinnis. But, do something. Oh, I would love that. Thank Batman you. Beyond was but so I mean, amazing, man. Seriously. Well, there you stop, go. Like, like you they can... don't have the balls to do no, that. No, they don't. No, they're they're not really going all the way to Beyond. They don't have the balls to have anyone but Batman. Like, you're not going to get like Nightwing taking over as Batman. Yes, they you are could. Go- you, you are going to have Batman's fucking Wayne. face in Batman's suit. He's going to look like Batman. Batman. He's going to be Batman in every yes. goddamn DC movie lose, ever released. Lose Wayne. You don't have to have Bruce Wayne. You I, don't. Here. You really? You I don't. I don't think you do. No, like, man. like, like Batman Beyond. Like Terry McGinnis, I thought was a really good replacement. It was awesome. Like, well, yeah, Bruce Wayne was still there. He was, Batman he was Bruce guiding. Wayne because money. Okay, but seriously, you can move on from Bruce Wayne. I really do well, feel I, you can. I, like, I, like, well, I do too, but I'm just saying that's right. never going to happen. This I know, I know. This I, isn't never like, happen. This I actually, I kind of agree with Ron that it'll never happen. But I, I'm I also, I'm in the same camp with you. Like, it could totally happen. It could totally work. Because, I mean, Batman Beyond, I have nothing but fond memories of that show. That show was so good. It's one of those things that I, I think that as soon as it's available, yeah. I need to buy it. Like, it would be a great explanation too. Like, like, like he. He's old. Batman, He's just old. Bruce yeah. Wayne is old as fuck in that cartoon. He is like it's, in the it's beginning, like, man. It's I mean, like, they don't even like, have to go that far with it because we're not that far in the future. And then you're just yeah. off and but running with what's his face. You've got you've got Ben Affleck, who's not a young man. He's already stated that this Batman was practically retired before BBS. Right. It's it it kind of fucking writes itself. I you yeah. could even make the whole movie a flashback to the eighties mm-hmm. and do a younger Batman. And then at the end, fucking Ben Affleck be like, "Yeah, I'm not doing this more. I need to find someone younger." I don't fucking. They have just, so much, so many things they could do. Yeah, yeah. it's going to take a lot of reservation th- and at discipline this point, on though, the studio's part to not try to take like Flashpoint and com- yeah, make it oh Man God, of Steel, combine Man of Steel two with Flashpoint and turn it into oh a big God. clusterfuck. Like, That's what I'm like afraid BBS of. Please was. don't do it. Please, like try to do all these things in like half the time. That's, Warner, that's Warner Brothers. Just, uh, Warner Brothers. Hopefully they don't learn their lesson. <laughs> yeah, don't fuck it up, Warners. Tell one story at a time. Yes. Yeah. Tell one story at a time and maybe sort of worry about connecting it to the next one. Don't don't try to – come on. And, I mean, from a studio standpoint, do you not – like, you like money. Mm-hmm. Why would you want to take the money that you could make separate from Flashpoint and combine that with you – know, Yeah. <laughs> this is like real. if pardon me like at this point it's like if uh what's his name uh had who played hulk had done the edward avengers. norton yeah if edward norton had done the avengers and then they wanted to pull him out of the movie yeah it's like it's it's late in the game to just swap it worked with that because edward norton was only in one movie and not a lot of people went and saw the hulk and, I love know, that movie. It was a good movie, yeah. But, but um, you could change him. He's yeah. 90% of the time the Hulk anyway. Right, yeah. It doesn't matter who really plays him in the end. It's yeah. just because you could make he's, that a, he's a big green CGI monster. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You could make that argument with Batman wearing the cowl most of the time, but still, you need a good Bruce Wayne. You do need a good or, Bruce Wayne, yeah. You just fucking pass the torch. Give yeah. Me somebody else. Well, like I said, give me. I, I'm I'm 100 percent on board with you though. Give me yeah. Terry McGinnis. Give me Batman Beyond. You know, you don't necessarily have to go like you said as far into the future as Batman Beyond is, but give me Batman Beyond. Yeah, you could do that. Um, part of part of the reason I think that works is because at this point, um, when you're doing these movies, uh, animated, it kind of works. In this, um, why is Batman around? Yeah. Why is he here? Other than the fact that he's got a car and he's his he, superpower is money, I have a feeling Batman's going to be doing a lot I'm of rich. just sitting in in this movie. He's yeah, not going to yeah. be doing fighting. I and mean, stuff. I, at least they're being real. Like, yeah, when that's they do why things like that, like turn in, Batman into in Iron BBS, Man. Yes, he's just like boom, kryptonite grenade. Suit. I'm going to hide and try yeah. to not die. Like he, he, Batman, just just. Draw draw enemies away. Exactly. Save people so while we fucking do the big boy. Do right. we wear the big boy pants. Yeah, let, let let Wonder Woman and let Superman do the fighting and you just kinda you kinda hang off on the side and you know, you know Do smart stuff, smart yeah. guy. 
shoot grenades and whatever you do. Yeah. Shock people with, be, with be nets. Fucking edgy as hell. Yeah. Give be, them a heart attack. You can my mom you and get dad brood. died when. Like, how many fucking characters' mothers <laughs> and fathers died? All of fucking them. Fucking Hal Jordan watched his dad burn alive in a fucking jet plane crash right in front of him. He didn't turn into an edge lord. Fuck you, Bruce Wayne. Like seriously, he like, turned into an adrenaline junkie. I, I got to say, like Fair that's enough. that's one of the things that, uh, like that that is an overused trope. Like, well, yeah. so many superheroes, so many characters, like their parents died. And that's well, why they're who you they are. Always have a tragic backstory. You yeah, just, you, you're introducing a character. Okay, what's well, the tragic backstory? Yeah. Oh, if you play any adventure game and you have a happy village with your family. And you spend like ten minutes in the village, and then they say, "Hey, okay, now you're gonna go off into the woods and do your, your trial or some shit." Oh, okay, I'm gonna go get a basket of fucking flowers. Come back, the whole village is burned down. Yeah, every game. Yep, that's yep, how yep, it yep, starts. Yep, 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 and, and, and it's really, really terrible. It's like, come on, guys, yeah, come up with something else. Like, like make her, make make a hero who was just doing things he wanted to do and just. That just happened to fall into the hero role, like Mad so, Max. Like I don't, I don't know what Shazam's personal life was, but I do love the fact that it's just some kid who found a wizard in a cave. <laughs> <laughs> and boom, superpowers. Well, yeah, that's, that's what he wants. Oh, okay, cool, no problem. Yeah. All right. I I don't know though, man. Like I'm, that's one of the things I'm definitely tired of. Uh, Merlin right. in a cave. Uh, uh, super. There we go. Shout Shazam, and you will be. Captain will, Marvel, yeah, but so, not that Marvel, the uh, other Marvel. No, the other, yeah, not not the the good one, <laughs> not not the not the uh, not the one on the other side. <laughs> I don't right infringement. <laughs> Fingers crossed, man. Yeah, really late. Like, I've, like I've heard a lot of good things and everything. All the negative is what I expected. I expected Steppenwolf like he's been. I, I thought he's he, big in all the trailers he lo- he's looked like shit. They've barely showed him, and that like, was very his telling. <laughs> facial he he doesn't look like a fucking. His face looks like shit. He doesn't have like realistic expressions. His body language and his yeah. movements look like he looks like a fucking video game character in all the trailers. I and can, I didn't like. I, that's not magically going to just change. Like I'm no, not, no, no. I see. I've not seen any trailers beyond like the very first one they released. So I I have no opinion. After that first one, I decided you know what I'm going to not pay any attention to reviews. I'm not going to pay any attention to trailers. I want to go into this a, as blank as I can because I'm going to make my own decisions. Like when I heard that it was on Metacritic with a 51, I'm like, it can't be that bad. Seriously, like, the, and then I did catch like snippets of different well, reviews. I wouldn't say that. Especially Shut after, up. especially <laughs> after like a few people are like, "Man, I love this movie." Right? People that trashed BVS, like, "I love this movie." At the same time, See, though, I, I was, at the same time, I want to be apprehensive because yeah. a lot of people said the same thing about Suicide Squad. Oh, True. Suicide Squad is great, and then we went in and it was complete <laughs> oh, one of garbage. That movie sucks. One it of my so favorite. Terrible. Yes. One of my favorite like people who does that stuff online is John Schnapp, right? Yeah. After Suicide Squad, he came out with his like mm-hmm. huge change of movies. It's pretty good. Don't go in there. Don't listen to all these haters. Redacted. I'm like, all right, let's. Oh my God, Schnapp, why? <laughs> he he did a second. Did he thing, eventually? Yeah, like I, I figured yeah. he eventually realized, but I like like. But there's he was not he was not super positive about Justice League. He's like, it's a big it's, fucking awesome fun fucking mess. fun is what I hear is like it's. Honestly, it's, it honestly, doesn't have the story and stuff, but that's fine. I just I want to see these characters together, right? And I want to enjoy it. Like if Steppenwolf is a throwaway character, fine. I would be happy if they just fight parademons for just like forty five minutes right. straight. I, I just want to see like the stuff I've seen in the cartoons and shit. Beat the shit out of parademons. Fucking uh, the stuff with Aquaman. I'm almost sad. I saw that in the trailer that he fucking rides a parademon down a building. I heard they uh, ruined awesome. basically all his moments in the trailer. That's what I've heard too. Is which that... is why I'm really glad I've not seen the trailers. I've yeah. not seen anyone beyond the first yeah. one where you see him jump onto the top of the bat and... movie. He's like, this is awesome. Woo! <laughs> I, w- I wanted to do that, but I, there's I just don't have it in me. Right, it's right, like the yeah. DC crazy. Crazy yeah. that I am. See, I, I have this I have this ability. Well, not an ability. I have this this uh not uh, this trait where I'm just apathetic to it all. Like I whatever happens happens. But I also don't really follow. I like, I don't follow those channels as much either. Like 
So I feel for like me, me and Luke are collider whores. Yeah, yeah, you guys totally I love are. Collider man. I, I, I watch, too. I watch the to it like that. I got to be honest with you. A lot of the things you two watch don't even exist in my universe. Like, start it, watching the Schmodown. It's become no. my favorite thing on the internet. See, it's it's <laughs> so it's a trivia. It's a movie, it's movie, just a movie trivia, trivia, but thing. it's like a wrestling. They cut wrestling promos. Wrestling and versus and then the they UFC. have it like the UFC fucking. There's faces and heels, <laughs> like like teams. They're just yeah. Okay, I got to tell you about it's Team Action. Fuck it. They oh, were in the. I, yeah. They were in the. I hate them. Uh, oh, I, they were that in was the a, uh, finals match. for like their version of like a. Uh, Did you watch them uh, play above the line? tournament? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So they played in the finals, and this team is just two dudes. And they come out they in suits so much shit. and glasses like they're Hollywood A-listers. They talk the best shit. They will shit I talk hate, you into the ground. I hate every other heel. You. I hate all the other heels in in the Schmodown. But these two the are so fucking good at being assholes and being heels that I, I'm like, I want to buy their shirt. I fucking I, <laughs> I want to rep them. These two are so great. Fucking little I'm evil. so happy what happened uh, with them did. Because above the line is fucking awesome, yeah. but <laughs> yeah, but yeah, these yeah. two like they're Come the on. way they do the showdown with their personalities <laughs> and stuff. It's great. It is it is entertaining on top of being like, yeah. hey, I knew that answer. Hey, I've never even fucking seen that movie. Yeah, go completely it's, off it's, topic. It's Watch the yeah. showdown on Collider. Yeah, and also because if you watch Collider and then listen to us, we totally steal like <laughs> ideas from them sometimes. I, but it's because they're, they're really definitely awesome. a big influence because I yeah. watch so same much thing there, with. So. I mean, it's similar with Kevin Smith and stuff that we've talked about before. Kevin, I mean, just, he, Kevin's such a stoner nowadays. He where just, he's just like everything. fucking blah blah, blah just just fucking <laughs> like like he just just, just comes everywhere. Just. Yeah, I gotta say though, I mean, and, and I find it to be a shameful thing since we started getting into this real deep. I've stopped listening to like all podcasts, period. Yeah, and for me, it's like, oh man, that sucks because I used to do it all the time. But like, I'll get a notification for like a new sub- podcast from Kevin or tech stuff or whatever mm-hmm. I used to, I I listen to, and I go, okay, that's cool. I want to listen to music now. So yeah. I don't know what I don't know maybe I don't know why I do that. I just don't for some reason. Like I have no It's like reasoning. well I'm a podcaster now, so I don't need to listen to that. <laughs> no, I don't even think that. I just I don't care anymore. I, I yeah. guess it's uh, I, I, it just goes back to the apathy, like, oh okay, that's cool. I mean awesome. you might get tired of like hearing other people's I listen to more along the lines of their own entertainment podcast than some of the news. Like I don't listen to Right. Uh, other than when I do listen to the Collider videos, I don't listen to their other podcasts. Right. I stop Jedi Council, yeah. but um, well, I uh, I like like stuff that's different from that. Like right, uh, right, right. I, I listen to some courtroom stuff and like advi- a comedy advice podcast. Well, like, like I said, I mean, one of the podcasts I used to listen to is tech stuff. It has yeah. nothing to do with what we do here. And it's it's just a – his name is Jonathan, I think. I, I can't remember now because it's been so long since I listened to it. But he just talks about, like, uh, the history of the Intel processor or stuff like that. Like, So I have I have no reason to not listen to it. I just – I see the notification, I swipe it away, and I move on with life. Just kind of fell out of listening to it. Yeah. I, I, I listen think all the time at work is really – I mean, but that's with all podcasts, and I, I think that's kind of shitty because I used to enjoy the fuck out of podcasts. Mm-hmm. And listening to Kevin Smith just rant for an hour is always fun. Um, you guys, especially need when to he seriously stoned. check out. Uh, even though I, I kind of wish I could see it in visual, but listen, even listening to it is good. Um, is uh, fucking Friday his Friday podcast with uh, um, Mark Garman? Yeah, uh, fucking what's the name of it? Ralph Garman. Uh, Ralph Garman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're thinking of you're getting Mark Bernard and yeah, yeah. I was just which I was just about to say. I feel so bad for <laughs> Mark Bernard because he's just he's he's such no, an intelligent okay. guy, and he's his he's opinions great. are so like you can take this man's opinion and like like and take it in and stuff like that. And then he's on Kevin Smith's podcast. It's called it's called Hi, the Batman channel is called Kevin Smith. He fucking is on the artwork wearing a fucking fa- a Batman hat and a fucking Kevin Smith jersey, and he's got to suck. He's got to just like eat shit. 
because uh, he's with Kevin Smith. I don't like, know. I like. Dude should have his I think own it's less that and more. He's just a friend of Kevin Smith's. And yeah, it's one yeah. of those things where, hey, you want to just talk about stuff for a while? Yeah, let's do that. That's totally the. That's like totally the vibe. And I he's get. got like, his day job is like way above and beyond. I just feel like being in this gets, shitty little podcast. I just feel he's like he's the, subjected. Uh, the editor of uh, <laughs> he's LA's, mo- LA yeah. Times. He's uh, the movie editor. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like he's he's got yeah. a real yeah. big job. He's like there's a reason why he knows. And be like, why do I do this with you? Yeah. It's funny. He does it because it's fun. And I Kevin really, sucks yeah, I, his dick. I like, really do. I really do get the, totally the impression. Ha- like, I really do get the impression that Mark Bernard is there because he wants to be. Yeah. He's there because he enjoys just bullshitting with I Kevin just hope Smith. Mark Bernard takes this and try and, he, and is able to to uh, fucking turn it into his own thing and start his own channel. Honestly, if he if he started doing a podcast where he just read his own, or he just did his own movie reviews from text form into audio, I'd totally listen to it. I mean, a it. lot of the videos on on the Kevin Smith channel are already just Mark Bernard and sitting in a car giving you his opinion, or he's by himself giving yeah, you his opinion. Yeah, if they can't get Kev's together, they just guy. do a review real yeah, quick. Yeah, I mean, um, They started doing that live, too, at that uh, cantina thing. Yeah. In L.A. Um, but Hollywood Babylon was the one I was thinking of with uh, Ralph Garman. Yeah. Oh, it's so fucking funny. I love how we are completely off topic right now. Hey, dude. Hey, we had some fun. <laughs> we, <laughs> we, we pretty much beat the D.C. thing into the ground. Yeah. yeah I, what I, we want to see. I mean, at this there point, there it's go. so up in the air. Yeah, I know. It's like... <sighs> well, I mean, what what can you really say about Cross it? your arms. Yeah. Uh, like, unless, like, tomorrow... I want Superman to be Superman in this movie. Wait, the Boy Scout Superman? I or? want him to just, just, just fucking. I want it to be lighter. I want him to be big blue, and him to fucking. That be, would be great, you know. But he's coming back to life, so you know, his black suit, and he's gonna be like, I don't know who I am, or do I fight these guys? It's gonna be the baddest. That's dead, gonna happen. Bury it. Blah blah blah. Like his. Fucking, oh, I don't think it'll be that bad. Don't l- get me wrong. His <laughs> fucking lines in BVS, like they gave him like what twenty lines or whatever. I don't know, and they were so oh, fucking no. like. Come on! His best moments were when he was hanging out with Lois, and it was a like it was like, oh wow, they really ha- like have a life, and it's a it, it it was like heartwarming, and then just his res- he's gonna go stand just, up on a mountain because he was just he's it was an just idiot. wrong, it was just all wrong. Like <laughs> his just his personality was was it's, wrong in BVS. It like, is young and impressionable Superman alongside old grizzled angry Batman. And now apparently he's Batman's doing a 180 where he's like team teamwork guys, mm-hmm. and he's like and the, the whole fucking fight in BVS is just it's all like man I'm trying to like you don't understand oh, as that I'm whole as I'm punching you across a anything. fucking goddamn building uh, across an alleyway. What do you expect? What Fly do you away. expect Batman Fly to do away, after Superman. you fucking punch his ass across a fucking? He's already fucking set booby traps for you, and he's fucking we are, super we've, like pissed at you. And oh, man. he's yeah. gonna see reason after you knock his ass across a fucking alleyway and stuff like that. I, I still, it was just all wrong. Well, I, the idea of Batman versus Superman has Superman always been ridiculous. Superman. It's always been ridiculous. <laughs> like Bat- Batman versus anybody, in my honest opinion, has always been ridiculous. Because it's like, okay, you got Batman. He's a cool motherfucker. I love Batman. I'm I'm tired of the oversaturation. I liked Batman. That's my problem. Yeah, I'm tired of the oversaturation. It's disgusting. But I'm sorry, Batman fans. He he can't beat anybody in the DC. I'm, DC apparently thinks he can. I, I hate it. He can't. You you could be like, you could walk up to a Batman fan and be like, okay, who would win? Batman. Jesus Christ. Everyone ever. <laughs> Superman or Batman, and they'll look you right in the face and say Batman, Batman. with every bit of conviction. With possible. prep time, Batman. Because just he cause. builds a cross and builds a suit made out of crypto. Like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> That's exactly what they go say. fuck yourself. No. It's like, come on, guys. Batman. Seriously. Okay, Green Arrow. Here's a good example. Green Arrow and Batman are so fucking similar. They're almost exactly they're the same. exactly the same character. Didn't Nobody gives DC... a fuck about Green Arrow because he's not a cool. Lo- he doesn't have a cool logo. Look, and he's not super edgy. Okay. And he's if Batman were like Owl Man, nobody give a fuck. Here's the thing, though, is when you talk Nobody about why people love Batman, you go all the way back it's to... It's not because of his character. No, you go all. all the way back to who you're asking. You're asking guys our age, or even older or younger. You go back it's... to who's had the best cartoons, who's had the best movies, who's well, had the best 
I everything. feel like those Batman. are a product of what I'm about to say. That it's mainstream audiences. They don't know anything about the character. They yeah. just take one look at him and go, oh, he looks cool. Even comic So book I like him. He's my favorite because there's, he looks cool. There's still that so therefore, connection. So therefore, that's why he has all those cartoons. That's why he has all those movies. And he, it's, it's all Batman. Guys, that's a guys, way guys. oversimplification, though. Batman's superpower is not him being rich; it's popularity. Exactly, much That's like Wolverine's, Wolverine's superpower. superpower yeah, but <laughs> is that is that his mutant healing or does, is adamantium skeleton and claws? Fa- one of my favorite images. I want to get a poster of it and just frame it. It's a picture of Darkseid on the right side of the frame. It's two D oh, and Batman wait, on the left, and he's shooting his Omega, Omega beams. beams at Batman, and they're bouncing around him. He's like, they "Die!" And it, and it him. says, "Die, you fucking Mary Sue!" <laughs> <laughs> and Batman's just Batman's glaring just at glaring him, glaring at him like he's uh, this shit. His glare stops Omega beams. <laughs> well, there you go. That's, that's the, you know. that's the thing is like. Uh-huh. It's it, there's also that connection of Batman being a mortal dude. Yeah, I mean to be fair, if you take away all the money, he's just a he's just another human. He's still a human. He's still you another can dude. Connect to that more yeah. than you connect. And everybody like, has that anger. I, he's he's kind of almost got the benefit of being an antihero, but is still technically a hero. And I like Batman. Yeah, I like Batman. I do. I yeah. grew up loving Batman. Like I read his comics, I watched the cartoons. I loved Batman. I yeah, Just I've seen the oversaturation. I've seen the every fucking, Batman movie. The, the oh, yeah. Batman wins bullshit. Just the complete disregard for logic and common sense. Mm-hmm. It just. It rubs me, rubs me the wrong way. Yeah, so yeah, I mean, bad. Where I, mean, I just fucking have grown to despise him because he's. It's. It's just. It, there's it's too ri- much of it's him. It's ridiculous. There's way too much of him. And you know, like, 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 that's one of the things that's always got me. Like, you throw all that logic and reasoning out the window. Like, you've got this being who, barring physics, because physics would stop him from actually doing this. But you got this being who can push the planet out of alignment or back into alignment, <laughs> and you've got a guy with a suit. And gadgets. They and granted, that being is rendered powerless by a fucking okay. rock. There's That's a... true. I, I I get you. Which hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. I, I got a point here. So, rock or not, you got this guy who can literally move a fucking planet, and Bruce is just a human. I like this meme, this Superman Batman meme, and it's a it's a it's a picture of I think it's a Superman and Batman. And uh, Batman is whatever, talking shit or whatever. And Superman right, right. just punches him into the sun. And then Alfred comes over to Superman, hands him a note. And it says, uh, Batman says something like, oh, by the way, like, I know you're strong or whatever. But I, I've infused my bones with, like, kryptonite or whatever. And and it says, fuck you. And because he ch- shot Batman into the fucking sun. Oh, it created, yeah, it changed the sun. fucking changed the sun, ozone, and then Batman, and Superman just starts melting. And, yeah. And, uh, and then Superman's like, fuck you, Bruce. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, that's Batman. I like that. Like, like, Batman thinks ahead, but it doesn't mean he ain't going to die, like, like in a second. Right. You know, that- well, that's the thing of, it's all the whole prep time. I think if you want to make any argument for Batman beating Superman... It's only because Superman wouldn't do what he needs to do to win. Yeah, but yeah. It's still a stupid. I mean, fight. Su- Superman. You know, he has that, that. He could shoot him with lasers from space. Like Superman has the whole like he was raised by his parent. You know, Kent the Kent family, yeah. and they instilled that set of morals in him. So the, he's just a he's just a good guy in general. The Batman craziness has introduced like like fail safes and like or like like glitches into other characters power sets yeah just to adhere to the batman insanity like green lantern if he's not concentrating now you can just take his ring off oh my god yeah he did that to guy Gardner. He did, he, he fucking no just... he did it to hal jordan oh he did it to hal he too it, oh, he did god. it to hal jordan he, and hal's like how'd you do that he's like you weren't concentrating like no <laughs> fuck you okay the ring chose hal jordan all right fuck you there's just little things like that. that yeah, yeah. Like just, it, let's write. Let's let, let's break a sweat to come up with ways for Batman to beat every character ever. Let, let, let's completely <laughs> ignore an entire 
you know, trope or or an entire thing. Like, like that's how Batman wins. Well, is Batman that... wins is a trope. It's a, well, no, it's, no, no. It's Hold why on. it. <laughs> the trope was not the word I was going for. It, well, it's on the tip of my tongue, but I can't figure out. Like, let's ignore an entire thing that is like, oh, this is how this works. Let's completely ignore how something works because so the Batman can win, basically. Well, yeah, that's yeah. that's why the trope takes over. Right. It's is like... you ignore reality and say he wins, <laughs> and it's. Who would win, Batman I'm or Goku? Sure. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that DC has come out and straight up said in the comics he has superpowers. Like his superpower is he's like a, it's completely above and beyond human capacity for a- analysis. But here's the thing: that's like, why he's the greatest detective and all that. Also, he knows every martial arts mm-hmm. because I. That's the one I will never ever accept. Like Batman beat whoever. Fine, I will never accept that he has mastered all the martial arts. I can't do just, it. He's fucking he's filthy dedic- rich, and he's been at it since yeah, he was yeah. a, a wee little boy. Yeah, okay, I, I get time, that. But... I get that. But there's like there's like people who take take books, decades that. take decades to just learn one martial art, let alone mastering all the martial arts. Come on, man, get out of here with that. That's fair. I mean, when you but take the... I'm choosing to like okay, this <laughs> yeah. is this is comics we're talking about. All right. things considered, that's not. But you have to apply that, that with same. Fetched. You would have to apply that same logic to Batman winning. Because they're both as impossible as the other. Like, unless Batman is immortal and has been trapped in a 35-year-old body for 150 years, there's no way he's going to be mastering every martial art that's known to man. Come on. I, I, just, I can't accept that one. It's the kind of thing where I almost want them to come out and be like, yeah, no, he's got powers like Taskmaster. I wish he could just watch it and be like, I know that martial art now. I wish they'd just go like, he oh, legitimately like, has that power. Like in Justice 1, nanobites. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, just God, nanobites. please never do that. Just, like, just the, in, whole, Batman uses the nanobites. The whole excuse for why Injustice works is still, why how <laughs> Alfred beat the shit out of Superman. Oh, he took a pill with nanites. Just Batman, though. Yeah. Just Batman. Just Although Batman. I would like to see Alfred... You know, throw down it, <laughs> just throw down in the man. movie or something. And be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, this, I like this, this Alfred this too. I, I don't too. even remember the guy's name. The guy's playing Alfred currently. He's fucking great. Jeffrey Irons. Yeah, yeah. he's another. Oh, reason. oh, Jeffrey Irons played. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he's in BBS. I, I love in BBS. He's great. Okay, you know what? That might make up for the Jesse Eisenberg. I don't know. I, I love Jeremy Irons. Although the trailer apparently that they show him talking in, in the. The scene they show him in in the trailer apparently yeah. it was cut, so I don't know if we'll even be in it. They cut. They Warner Brothers mandated that this movie be under two yes. hours long. There's and they something cut, like the original forty cut was minutes. Like, yeah, of like cut. forty something minutes was cut. Some so, people, some like hold some, up, hold like, up, almost. Hold up. There's a shitload of scenes that are from the trailers that ain't even going to be in the movie. Like you, which is normal. Granted, yeah, yeah no, true. that I'll yeah, give them. But, but like you could have totally gone like two hours and twenty minutes. Come on, man. Like twenty extra minutes over the two hour marks, not that far fetched. Like don't make it two hours and forty minutes. That's that's a little bit long. But I could totally accept two hours and twenty minutes. I will say that you everybody can, has said you that can I wish kind it was of people can accept some of that blame. Because of the reaction to BVS, right? With that movie was like three goddamn hours long, yeah, and like, it was way too bloated. Um, so I get why they wanted a movie to be shorter. However, you're you're doing a team up movie. Go three twenty. Do something. Let them have some breathing room to mandate it from the start. That's a bit much. Yeah, yeah. Say so, um, so, sit there and like set a goal of yeah. two and a half hours, but well, don't 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 hold up. Don't like make it mandatory if you go two hours and 45 minutes and it's a good flick fuck it like but like you said you, you've got this movie where you've got a bunch of different characters yeah. like come on give us a little bit more than how how long is the movie do it's um, two hour, hours and, hour and 59 oh, minutes come in under two? hour and 59 minutes including the credits oh see or that maybe not including the credits i'm not sure see, here's the thing i is... heard an hour and 59 like they they did there, what they were asked. there are reasons studios want movies to stick right at the two hour mark that I get. You get more showings that way. Right. You right, obviously right. are gonna attract more people that way. Um like there's there's legitimate reasons. So I, I kinda get that side of it. But I wish like if you have a good like you said, if you have a really good cut of the movie, two hours, forty five minutes is a bit much. You can trim some fat off that. Right. Um but honestly I don't know why they didn't think this is going to make money. 
these characters are going to make money regardless well, dude, of even bad reviews. BVS with BVS had fucking it Batman, money, Superman, though. Wonder Woman, but it made Lex Luthor, money. fucking it Doomsday. They failure. ruined them in the trailer, so it was advertised. Yeah. It didn't make. It didn't make the money that it should have made. I I think it made. It didn't make a billion dollars. It made one hundred and forty. Its opening weekend was still almost uh, two hundred million, wasn't it? I can't even comment. It's like one hundred and fifty million. It was but still like I know upward. it wasn't a it billion. Was, it wasn't what they were projecting. Like, it wasn't what they were wanting. It wasn't what they were ju- projecting two years before the movie like, came out. Like I think out Suicide Squad press. made as much money as much money as BVS. I I don't know. I and, thought BVS still made good money, but I think I think they could, but. They don't have the faith in it. When Lord of the Rings came out, when Return of the King came out, they were like, fuck it, how long is this movie? Three three goddamn hours? Yeah, we're making all our money. Doesn't matter if we can't show as many times. We'll make all that money back, no problem. Same thing with fucking, like, Titanic. Av- I don't remember if Avatar I mean, was hey, one, you know what? It's it, fucking James Cameron, so. It made $872 million at the box office. Right. Yeah. So, Come on, dude. Seriously. We should probably start wrapping up, uh, talking about probably. Justice League. Um, it's showing at, uh, it is 9.02 a.m. as we're recording this, and it's showing at 10 a.m. Oh, yeah, we should oh, probably 10. get ready. Okay, yeah, yeah, so we got to get on that. All right, guys. Stand so, uh, by, everybody. We're going to go ahead and here, wrap it up. Uh, here goes nothing. Yeah. yeah, let's see what happens, you know. So that was that was fun. We got off topic quite a bit, but that's okay. Yeah, we talked a lot of D.C., though. But Which yeah, was our I, intention. I, so. I, that's one of my favorite things, always just. DC. Yeah, I'm going to laugh if Hulk, Thor ends up still better than this, though. <laughs> no doubt about it, Thor. You, I don't know. He's, Thor- already, he's already like, Thor's going to be better? What the fuck? And I'm the DC. What's wrong Rock was fucking awesome. I yeah. want to see that movie twice. <laughs> yeah, that movie was great, and I'm totally down for like five yeah. or six more viewings of it, because that movie, there's just so much that was in it. But anyway, that's not what we were talking about, so we're yeah. going to go ahead and cut it off there. Asgard? Asgard. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, shut up, guys. Sparkles. Let's cut it off there. We're we gonna... were the ungodly geeks. I was Joe. I was Luke. I'm Ron. You guys have a good one. And fuck EA. Yeah.